don't know my money now. Cover so cool. I don't have possible TV. So, and any day they can have possible TV. A best show say a mamma no a bar cope. A boobisa, a bibisa say a mamma no cry any day. A mamma is all busy by his reading. A man up on a day. We should be a like it, comment it, not so subscribe it. Subscribe it and I recommend it. And as I watch the content, no amma only a bit so any videos need be actually. And then soon that we need a channel is with YouTube. A best show so busy by no she video. A man up on a day. We should be a like it, comment it, not subscribe or subscribe you and watch the content you know, and I say why you comment the channel you know, I'm a win you be and I say I don't fool being so much and also in your be actually and we see a million differences are to aka possible men's I can read you back to be and I say audio back to be a more she a more room in my work audio a general Godfrey or dummy and all the emphatic statement be a kakuma some okoje to a black wa haruna idris wena mahama yarega say your Injunction application for injunction against e lavino a e incompetent. Hey, Governor Dame, Attorney General, also as a about me incompetent statements in Yanko BB in same way, Dinti Aokasa. Now, Attorney General and Minister of Justice, Gofred Yeboa Dame, has described an application for interlocutory injunction filed by minority in Parliament against the implementation of the electronic transactions levy, commonly called e levy, as incompetent. Item uh, with our daily guide. Now, on March 30th, 2022, Three members of the minority uh, from NDC, Minority Leader Harun Idrisu, Boko Central MP, Mahama Ayarega, and a North Tongu MP, Samo Okujeto Ablakwa, FLA writ at the Supreme Court seeking to declare the passage of E-Levy Act, Act 1075, as unconstitutional and should be set aside. Now, on April 19, 2022, three applicants followed up with an application for an order of interlocutory injunction to restrain the enforcement of the act pending the determination of the suit. In this interlocutory injunction filing on the Commonwealth Supreme Court pending the hearing and ruling of the suit from the Supreme Court, and no one, uh, Attorney General say, and one kasan emoha sasawa a ye incompetent or say haraba in a strong affidavit in opposition filed in response to the motion for interlocutory injunction on Friday, April 29th, 2022. The Attorney General makes reference to what he terms as factual uncertainties in the plaintiff's application. Now, according to him, no, same shows that their application is incompetent and that the plaintiffs have failed to make out a case for the Supreme Court to grant an injunction. In Tiaha, no Baba Baba in same, no Bibi in same, Nama in same, no Adeti. Now, supporting the point, no, Attorney General, a show say to croak a siebida om case nim. I in law nom friend lacuna and I ho and I gap. Bibrina friend lacuna. Adam, na the to croak a sene dem ne factual uncertainty. In general, so I'm more present as evidence than kasa and kasa. Mo nye shio. Na yanko, or say the factual uncertainty contained in the plaintiff's case is displayed in the allegation that there were only 136 or the purported 137 members from the majority caucus present in the chamber of parliament when the e levy act was passed and no na attorney general say the fact is that the okra na bana chrese mwanka sa munjina so ni nyinyina so papa supreme court will never make a ruling with an issue of or a ye way and i say a ye way monko prepare mo huna mo for evidence in brands and i'm prepare my be wasting go for time with supreme court and then Attorney General can say it is incompetent. Now, I say the fact that the plaintiffs are not even sure of the exact number of members of parliament present in parliament for the passage of the e levy bill, whether they were wanted six or wanted seven MPs present in parliament, is fatal Ghana's to their case one. and demonstrate that the plaintiffs News have no cause of action. Yeah, you know, you minority members no moko e sa moko jeto a black wa obi ti se haruna idrisu ti se mahama yarega omo she da present case bi omo nim supporting omo be kwa kulusu obedrin so omo she da pa 
because the level of incompetence of musho because a kwala kwa 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 presenti case and one papa say injina so we na modi tria me ka munti minka se mi see 143 blocks and i say mi see 155 blocks inti fi mu ba kwa nefe tria me ka obi anye sada inti omu pesa omu anka se omu ko luzu case na na omu be jina abonti inka se supreme court ye bias na omu jina su di aye demonstrations Mwan kasa mo pese mo lusu kis. A mo ti mi kok parliament. Eko jina ho. E mo mo nye korun for discussion. Na mo babe to aba mo shede free ho. Na voice vote aba mbabi na to se. The e-levy act is passed. Mo wiyana ma kase issues a bias against you. O be dey so mo a mo shede. E no mo pese mo lusu. It in every case. Because the level of incompetence ni. Ye jine wan ye nti asye. Now the fact that the plaintiffs are not even sure of the exact numbers of members of parliament present in parliament for the passage of the e levy bill, whether 136 or 137, is fatal to their cause. And on Attorney General Debay, the statement and Gas and Kasani Kayan Trauno. Or see the state further submit in this affidavit in opposition that clearly the plaintiffs have failed to demonstrate any facts or the commission of any act or an omission on the part of parliament in the constitutionally prescribed procedure for the passage of the electronic transfer act 2022 act 1075 which vest them with a course of action parliament Ah, etre se omo bu omo omo tiamra. Mo amu nchire bibi a parliament ye frim. Ah, etre se omo omo tiamra. Mo amu nchire any substance of evidence be a etre se parliament ye tiamra. Namu jida se ye mamu interlocutory injunction. Ah, the interlocutory injunction ye ti ti che. Uba anuwa jibi na de ko. We ba anuwa jibi na de ko. Ye de ti che. E ye bro. Ye mfan ti che sa. Ye linju na suobi. Any edema interlocutory injunction. This is the opinion of the Attorney General. He makes the entire suit as well as the application for interlocutory injunction incompetent. And then Attorney General, Minister of Justice, said they can to the level say it me drew incompetence and instead of um obiti say lawyer chachichi kata boko ako fesi de eh eh gofredo dami himself no no li ni deputy ako fesi na gofredo dami eh 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 deputy ni a a biti eh lawyer chachichi kata in court no wasen lusu to that level and now afi di eh ndc for omo lawyer say eh 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 defend you omo huwa court now record of what happened in parliament attached to the if you did it filed on behalf of attorney general is an exhibit the official record of the 37 sitting of the first meeting of the eighth parliament held on tuesday 29th march 2022 the vote and proceedings into our attorney general and bo to kuda lakune se di da di da we omo application o wano nansu sa presente ni evidence e chile se sa di e koso nun kasan kasan e wongi na swapa because in the first place kwa ko beti ma boto kru kwa ato omo omo kasan im omo filing of our interlocutory injunction no e jane sa omo inti min defendi en si le kwa pona yeti mi bo interlocutory injunction application ni kwa tugu wasansu di bata so asa kabro do no hwa mana e so chen asansu wa provide the evidence a call so for 37th setting of the first meeting of the 8th parliament ni yon ko into the details o se the exhibit further shows that the electronic transfer levy was consequently passed by a voice vote. The attorney general in reference to this says that this shows therefore that the allegations by plaintiffs about the number that passed the e-levy bill, which they are not even sure whether one is 137, 136 or 137, is immaterial. The fact they say in Kofordi Omano, ye ye ana no no crash, say the Speaker of Parliament in Timin determines say 102, 106, 103, 175, and they can't ye ye into the fact that all born numbers so so crap ye immaterial. Obey the number of Kofor voice. It is the sounding of the judgment and is dependent on the hearing of the Speaker in terms of the loudness of ye ye or no no. And then I told you, you know, I did to join. And one.